Hello and welcome back to another MLB The Show video. Today, we're back on Pack Attack. In the last video, we beat our opponent pretty comfortably. He uh, he lasted a little bit longer than some of our opponents have been lasting, um, but he still ended up quitting, so we got a pretty solid amount of upgrade packs, but um, unfortunately didn't really pull anything too good out of it. Now, in the last roster update, though, we did have two guys go gold. The first one being Brett Gardner. He used to be a bench bat, but for this one, I'm going to try and start him over Andrew Benintendi. Honestly, I don't know if he's any better, but uh, he's slightly better hitting against righties, but worse against lefties. He's a better, like, fielder with better speed, but he doesn't have the arm that Benintendi does. So I don't know, I'm going to try Brett Gardner for this one pretty much purely just because he's a gold. And also Wilson Ramos got the upgrade back to a gold. When we originally pulled him, he was a gold, got dropped down to a silver, but now he's back up to a gold. Other than that, changes on the team, I did put CJ Krohn at first base, so we moved Andujar back to third. Then we moved Polanco over to second, and uh, Colton Wong got the boot. He's no longer in our lineup. Also, we pulled Chris Paddock out of a headliner pack, so he is our second gold in our rotation. We also pulled Brandon Workman and Kyle Crick, so our bullpen got a little bit stronger. A new season started, but still we're working on getting that rating up. Haven't played too much pack attack on this account this year, but we're working on getting that rating up to get a little bit better competition. Still down at a 280 or 257 in the regular season standings bracket, whatever. So, still probably going to have a pretty easy matchup today, but you never know. But uh, yeah, we're just working on that rating to get a little bit higher so we can have some better competition for this series. I'm really hoping to have some, some more big upgrades today. I want to be able to uh, get a headliner pack or two. I, I, want, I want some good luck in those packs. I want our first diamond on the team today. We're going up against a team that is even worse than mine yet again. He's got two commons in there, so this... This might be a rough game for the other guy. We do have our fifth starter in our only bronze left in the rotation, but uh, I don't know. I feel like that really shouldn't matter. So to start, we're going to be facing off against the 69 overall bronze Javier Baez, who I'm not going to lie, really good BR card if he's facing a lefty or a lever. But uh, as a starter, don't really know how he's going to do. And we're going to get him swinging on the strikeout. He was uh, pretty much swinging at everything that at bat. So this might be a little bit of an easier game out on the mound. But he does make contact on that. So we're going to get a ground out there to second. And there's a fly ball out to right for Babe Ruth. He makes the play and we get through the first inning really quick. And now it's time to wake up our bats. That was a pretty good pitch to start out with, right on the corner. Nothing I could really do for it with that if I swung. That's not as good of a pitch, though. Well, at least this guy is not just leaving it right down the middle for me to smack. So, oh, and I got a check swing, and <laughs> he stabs at it behind the back. Man, off the bat, once I made contact on that check swing, I'm like, maybe I'll still be able to beat it out. Maybe it'll sneak up the middle or something, but... I don't know why I check swung too. I, I squared that up perfectly. I had good swing timing. If I would have just swung through, that would have been that would have been a shot. But Babe Ruth keeping it going after his last game with a base hit there up the middle, starting our inning, starting our game off. I'd love to get Andujar on for Kyle Schwarber in the cleanup spot. And I'm swinging first pitch, but Schwarber has a huge inside edge against righties today, and he's already a tank against righties. So he's going to have like 110 power, I think. And Andujar, that one gets in the gap. And I don't know if Ruth is going to be able to score with that 35 speed. Yeah, I'm going to hold him up. I might have been able to make it, but I don't know. I don't know. That would have been close. But like I said, we got Schwarber up. Huge upgrade against the righty. What has he got? 107 power today against righty. So we're trying to square something up here. That's another good pitch. His his slide or his fastball is low and away are pretty effective. And he went to the fastball low and away again. I fouled it off. So now we're down 0-2. Oh, but there's Schwarber. <laughs> I pretty much called it 
in the last at bat that Schwarber was going to do this. No doubt, Homer to right field puts us up three to nothing early, and that already satisfies our th three run thousand stub rule criteria. I guess I should call it. It's not a rule. And our connection is going down. I don't know what happened. We uh, There was no trouble at all. But usually when it freezes like this, that might just mean that that's the game. Like he, he might he might have disconnected or something. Yep. Lost connection with my opponent. I'm going to call that a rage quit. Unfortunately, not too much gameplay in this one. Uh, that was... It was very quick. I don't know. I, I feel like I should play another, but the nature of this series is kind of play a game, open the packs, and the video. Next game, open the packs and the video. So I, I don't I don't really know if I should be playing a second game because that's just kind of how this series goes. So I think I'm going to call it there. Um, I usually have with my upgrades, I, I kind of have fail safes for this. So I should still be able to get a pretty solid amount of stubs. So let me let me go into the box scores, look at that for you guys, and I'll be back. All right, so first of all, I realize, and I keep forgetting to mention this in the intro, but our stub pool count after we sold the guys from our pack opening in the last video was 9,002 total. And for this game, our stub count, if you want to keep up with what the criteria are, make sure you look in the description because all of the criteria will be down there and you can follow along with me. But we get a thousand for a win, another thousand for it being a rage quit slash disconnect thing, I don't know. Another thousand for scoring three runs. We get four thousand for a complete game shutout. I call those complete game shutouts because that's pretty much the best way to make sure that I get a solid amount of stubs if someone quits early like that. And then another 2,000 for allowing three or fewer hits. So that's going to bring us to a total of 9,000 stubs for that episode, but you'll notice here that I bought two headliners packs and that would be 10,000 total. So what I'm going to do, and this is kind of what the stub pool is for, is I'm going to dip into that stub pool a little bit take a thousand out of it and bump our our stub count up to ten thousand so I buy two headliners packs so our stub pool count will move down to eight thousand and two and we'll open up two headliners packs in this episode because hopefully we will we'll pull something good here man I I I want I want someone good on this team we got out of this, I'll look at the featured guys. We have Dave Parker at 99 overall and Ryan Zimmerman at 95. I would I would be beyond ecstatic if we could get a 99 overall on this team. But anyway, let's just go ahead and open up these two packs real quick. See who we get. Hopefully we can get lucky. And uh, it's a silver, man. Come on. I want a diamond on this team. Michael Fulmer, he'll make the rotation. I might as well just go ahead and add him now. We're going to bump out Zach Eflin. So no more silver or no more bronzes in our starting rotation. Zach Eflin, you pitched a, you pitched a heck of a one inning in that last game. We also got Yusmero Petit, 73 overall. He might make the bullpen. You know what? No, he's not going to. I like I like Carson Smith. I really haven't had to use the bullpen in this uh, in this series so far. So it really doesn't matter yet, but I'm going to keep Carson Smith in there just because I feel like he's probably a little tougher to hit. Other than that, no one else is going to get added. So we're on to our last pack here, our last hope. At least let me pull a gold. But man, would I love to get a diamond on this team. Oh, let's see. Let us see. It's another silver man. <laughs> Oh, I bought two headliners packs because I wanted big upgrades. And all I got out of it was two silvers. I could have bought six show packs. And if I did that, probably would have gotten better pulls overall. But we got Mike Yastrzemski. I don't even know if he makes the team. I don't think he's going to get a starting spot. Because I already have a pretty solid outfield. I don't think he's going to get a bench spot because he doesn't have doesn't have all that great of numbers against righties. 
because he's a lefty. So this uh, this is quite the dud of a pack opening here. <laughs> I guess after such a quick win, you could say I don't deserve to get any good upgrades. But you could also say that I do because I made him quit so quick. Well, here we are. That was uh, that was quite the quick episode, I will say. Our lone upgrade out of our two packs we open is Michael Fulmer. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to put Yastrzemski in. If I do, he'll be a bench bat replacing Ben Attendi. But if you like this video, if you want to see more pack attack episodes, hopefully every Saturday, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any. But that is all I've got for you guys in this video. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.